Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Did you know that China is internationally acclaimed as the infrastructure maniac? This is not a derogatory term, but a reflection of the awe that people have for China's incredible ability to construct large-scale engineering projects. When it comes to large-scale construction, China is always praised for its astonishing construction speed that amazes the world. Chinese engineers are like superheroes in the construction field, known for their enthusiasm in building large projects to accommodate the continuously growing population of the country. As one of the largest developing countries in the world, China's infrastructure development has always been a crucial means for achieving economic and social development. In recent years, there's a saying in the world of bridge construction, look to Europe and America before the 1970s, look to Japan in the 1990s, and look to China in the 21st century. That's right, when it comes to modern bridges in China today, both in terms of quantity and quality, they are at the forefront of the world. However, do you know why China is building so many mega bridges? In the upcoming video, we will take you on a journey to trace the history of bridge construction in China. First, we will begin with the most classic type of bridge. This is an ancient bridge design, where two piers support one beam, considered a beam bridge. The horizontal distance between the centers of adjacent supports represents the span, reflecting the bridging capacity of a bridge. What you see before you is the first modern bridge independently designed and constructed by China in 1937, the hangzhou Chiantang River Bridge. It has a maximum span of approximately 66 meters and adopts the structure of a simply supported beam bridge, supporting a box girder between adjacent piers. Extending the girder to form a multiple tons supporting one beam constitutes a continuous beam bridge. Due to the continuous and uninterrupted nature of the girder, it can mutually constrain, providing higher load-bearing capacity and achieving larger bridge spans. For example, the Wuhan Yangtze River Bridge has a maximum span of 128 meters. This design enabled the Chinese to successfully cross the natural barrier of the Yangtze River for the first time. In China at that time, these steel bridges were not only technologically advanced but also expensive, mainly applicable to railway construction. With the introduction of a new bridge construction technology, Chinese engineers could easily span bridges across the Yangtze River. The principle of this technology is quite ingenious. Pre-stressing steel bars are embedded in the concrete, utilizing the shrinkage of the steel bars to balance external forces. This allows the bridge structure to withstand larger loads and support greater spans. This technology is known as pre-stressed concrete technology and is more cost-effective compared to traditional steel-reinforced concrete technology. Therefore, propelled by pre-stressed technology, a large number of highway bridges were constructed by Chinese engineers. Until today, the application of beam bridges has become very extensive forming standard components that can be manufactured in factories and assembled on site. While there are limitations to single span lengths, by connecting hundreds or thousands of spans, 
it's possible to span rivers, lakes, seas, and even reach lengths of up to 165 kilometers, completely surpassing road surfaces, making them the world's longest bridges. However, to further increase spans, beam bridges inevitably need to undergo a technological revolution. The appearance of this bridge is very similar to a beam bridge, but its girder and piers are fixed as a whole, allowing them to jointly resist girder bending. This means that with the support of piers, girders can achieve greater spans or choose a more lightweight bridge deck, which is the rigid frame bridge. However, this type of bridge is very sensitive to thermal expansion and contraction, making it prone to bridge deformation or even collapse. To address this challenge, Chinese engineers designed higher piers for cable-stayed bridges, making them more flexible and reducing the risk of pier deformation. In mountainous and canyon areas, this design with tall piers is particularly suitable. So, a towering bridge soared into the sky. This large bridge is called the Hajian Mega Bridge, with its piers plunging straight into the valley, reaching an astonishing height of 190 meters, equivalent to more than 60 stories. It is the tallest bridge pier in Asia. However, on the plains, there is no need to construct towering piers. To reduce the height of the bridge while ensuring the flexibility of the piers, a special pier form is required. However, the piers need to be slender, the bridge needs to be stable, and the cost needs to be low. These three factors constrain each other, making cable-stayed bridges with spans exceeding 300 meters rare. The Qishui River Bridge, completed in 2006 with a maximum span of 330 meters, became the world's largest pre-stressed concrete continuous steel truss bridge. But when facing steep cliffs, deep valleys, or the need for traffic clearance under the bridge, a bridge form that can span the entire distance with a single span is required, such as an arch bridge. This arch structure requires both ends to not only lift the bridge upward but also provide powerful horizontal thrust. This thrust firmly resists the deformation of the arch, thereby increasing the arch bridge's spanning ability. For example, the truss arch bridge, pioneered by China, has slender concrete arches, making the bridge more lightweight, with a maximum span of 330 meters. As ordinary concrete arch bridges approach their span limits, more and more innovative arch bridges are emerging. For instance, filling concrete and steel tubes adds an extra protective layer, making it more robust than regular concrete. Additionally, steel tubes can serve as the construction framework, significantly reducing the construction difficulty of arch bridges. With the increase in China's steel production, steel arch bridges are also on the rise. Combined with trusses, steel structures, and other designs, they have created one engineering marvel after another. Nowadays, the arch bridges constructed by Chinese engineers have achieved astonishing spans of over 600 meters. What's more, China also plans to build an extra-large bridge with a span exceeding 1,000 meters shortly. Now, you are looking at the Wufengshan Yangtze River Bridge. Let us marvel together at its grandeur. The main cables of this bridge are made of high-strength steel wires with a diameter of 5.5 millimeters, forming bundles of 127 wires each, and 352 bundles create a design with dual parallel cables. These main cables not only serve as the support for the bridge but also represent a colossal engineering marvel. They bear the weight of steel beams exceeding 70,000 tons, equivalent to 1,000 fully loaded Boeing 747 airplanes. Faced with such an enormous load-bearing capacity, the flow of traffic on the bridge appears insignificant in the face of this colossal engineering feat. Let's go back to the ongoing construction of the world's longest cross-sea bridge in China, the shenzhen Zhongshan Channel. This large-scale project, following the Hong kong zhuhai macau Bridge, is another world-shocking cross-sea cluster engineering feat from the initiation of construction, it has faced one global challenge after another. Here, we will focus on the underwater tunnel formed by 32 sections of bi-directional eight-lane steel shell concrete caissons, and the length of this underwater tunnel is an astounding 6.8 kilometers. Its construction difficulty is considered unparalleled in the world. However, Chinese engineers always find ingenious solutions using their intelligence. 
The enormous transport ship you see now is the Yi Hang Jinan 1, an integrated installation ship designed and manufactured by Chinese engineers. The main body of Yi Hang Jinan 1 adopts a catamaran ship design, integrating functions such as caisson floating, positioning, sinking, and installation. With a length of 190.4 meters, width of 75 meters, and depth of 14.7 meters, it is the world's most advanced underwater tunnel caisson construction vessel with the largest installation capacity, highest precision in sinking, most efficient construction operations, and cutting-edge performance. Now it will depart from Goishan Island, transporting caissons weighing up to 80,000 tons to the construction site of the Caisson Tunnel 50 kilometers away. This will be an epic construction operation, and the Caisson Transport and Installation Ship will carry out mooring, hoisting, positioning, and other tasks. At a depth of over 30 meters underwater, achieving millimeter-level precision docking for the 80,000-ton caisson is as challenging as the docking of crewed spacecraft and the Tiangong Space Station. The caisson transport and installation ship Yi Hang Jinan 1 acts like a massive rectangular steel clamp, firmly holding the final section of the caisson and the ultimate joint at the bottom of the ship. Controlled by the intelligent system installed on the ship, the final joint is precisely pushed out achieving the precise docking of the last caisson with the E-24 section on the east side. From this point on, the world's longest and widest steel shell concrete caisson tunnel, the Shenzhen Zhongshan Channel Underwater Tunnel, is officially connected. The construction of the Shenzhen Zhongshan Channel caisson tunnel embodies the collective wisdom of the Chinese engineering team, showcasing a leap in China's overall industrial technological capabilities. Finally, let's take a moment to reflect on this map of China, which may evoke a unique set of emotions. It's hard to imagine how generation after generation of builders overcame numerous challenges such as topography, geology, hydrology, meteorology, materials, structures, and navigation. Even in economically challenging times, China continued to create new technologies, repeatedly achieving breakthroughs. The nearly 1 million bridges bear witness to the arduous journey China has traveled. Success in bridge construction not only plays a crucial role in domestic development but also has a positive impact on global bridge construction, providing valuable insights and experiences. Well, that's all for today's video. What do you think of these mega projects in China? Have you ever thought about visiting them in person? If you enjoyed today's video, please give us a thumbs up leave a comment, and share it with your friends. If you'd like to learn more about mega projects in China or around the world, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video. Take care and goodbye.